anything just yet, but we'll see as the night progresses. Here's the kick, and we're underway. Hadley's going to run it out. 20, 25 across the 30. Pretty good starting field position for Weber State to his left. Eluding pressure. And it's going to be shy of the first down. Jace Lewis was waiting for him there. 34, the junior linebacker. Down, third and three. Sneed. Pressure, he's hit. Gets away, still on his feet. And now he's going to be tackled down. And Adam Rodriguez. Noah Vallejo was the first in there. And Rodriguez finished him off. It's a one for three tonight. Now on the other side, Weber State defense is fifth in the nation on third downs. What gives here? It's a sack by Adam Rodriguez, who's in the backfield yet again for the Wildcats. Fourth down, Grizzlies. Constantine, pressure, gets rid of it, and it's incomplete. His wide receiver slips. There are no flags. Ty McPherson was the intended target. Nope. First down from the 20. Sneed airs it up top. And the catch is made. Backpedaling is Mitch Roberts as a flag comes in. Third down, Montana. Third and two. Sneed. Quick pass, and it's caught two way. And he has it for the first. For most wide receivers. Yeah, and whose record did he break? Randy Moss. 288 yards back of the day. Sneed. Taking a shot. First down. And it's up. And it is caught inside the five yard line. And two way has it again. And two way does. Second down and goal. The fake to Osmo, Sneed to the end zone, and it is caught for the touchdown. Colin Bingham, the tight end for the grab. State has failed to convert on third down so far tonight. Constantine, and it's broken up, knocked down and incomplete. Awesome defensive play by Gavin Robertson. Getting from Weber, now they back it off. Sneed still facing pressure. Hoist this one up into traffic, and it is intercepted. Picked off by Eddie Heckard, and he has it down to the Montana 25-yard line. That ball off, you're like, what is he thinking? Well, he throws it up, and there's like four Weber State defenders in the area as well. Just can't get much on the ball, can Sneed, and Heckard goes up, high points it. Constantine, deep shot, end zone, incomplete. At 85%, he's 22 of 26. Kick is on the way, and it is good. College football plays of the year, all coming up at the half. Stay tuned for that. Sneed, another bad throw, intercepted again. And Maxwell Anderson has it for Weaver State. Right to him. 15 yards on the interception return. In the seam, ball just sailed on him, as simple as that. On the over throw, it happens, and you can see when it came out of his hand, it didn't come out like he would have wanted it to. It sails on him. From the 28. Constantine, and he's get gets hit and taken down inside the 25-yard line. Robbie Houck. Got to pay the bills. Got to come to work. Inside handoff. And as you said, they're not going to try anything crazy here, but a timeout taken by Montana yet again. It's going to Sneed sacked. Jonah Williams and the Big Skies co-defensive player of the year gets a sack on. Constantine up top, has a man, and the catch is made. It's Justin Malone. On they both sides. Are. Third down. Pressure. Constantine over the middle. Flag is thrown. The catch is me. No, now they'll say incomplete. Devin Cooley as it hit the turf. Pass interference. Defense. Number three. We'll look at it here. One on one. Calhoun and Cooley. Three versus three. Yeah, and it, it, was it, it was before that. It was right on the break. As I saw the flag come out right there. Yeah, he's got the grab. You see the hole. That's yep. a good call by the official. That's Third down. Constantine looks back for Davis. He has it. And he's going to have the touchdown.
knee. Looking that direction, it's picked off. Intercepted by Jacoby Harris. The third interception of the game. Check it, it's George Tarles who has it. He plays defensive end, but he can drop back and play linebacker. He's right in the middle, he just reads the eyes. To the backfield, four receivers set, third down, Weber State, Constantine, and it's Smith, and they'll gain some yardage to make it easier for the field goal try to the 23, gain a six. Yeah. Oh, bad snap, and they weren't able to get it down, and he has to cover it up, and Montana's gonna get it. And they have to eat it. The holder is Doug Lloyd. Snee. Bad pass. It's intercepted. Fourth pick of the night. Noah Vallea. And he couldn't. Vallea made the interception. And he's staring down his receiver where he wants to go to his tight end. Ben 440 and ticking third quarter. Constantine gets it out quickly on the outside. And the catch is made by David Ames, and he's going to end up getting the first down. Constantine. Saivon. And this is going to be caught. Is there a flag? There's a flag down. They're going to say a completed catch from the 27-yard line. Two fouls on the play, both on the defense. Pass defense, number seven. That penalty is declined. The ruling on the field is a completed pass for a first down. There's also a sideline warning. On the Montana bench. I don't think there's enough either there. He's got it. Yeah. And Darian Nash was all over him with coverage. So it's an unbelievable catch by Christensen. Second down. Play fake to Smith. They'll dump it off. And now the catch is Osmo or Chuck it. That's Clay Moss. And he gets down close to the 15 yard line. That's a first down. On this quarter for Weber State after being 0 for 8 in the first half. Constantine to the end zone. Incomplete yard attempt for Trey Tuttle. But Weber State is blocked, and Montana got a piece of it, and Dante Olsen, 33, the senior linebacker, defensive player of the year. And two times in a row, they stopped a field goal attempt for Weber State, still a three-point game. Cat defense, lead by number nine, Adam Rodriguez, find him. Sneed. Sideline in the traffic, and it's almost intercepted for what would have been the fifth time tonight as Eddie Heckard had it in his hands. That defense. I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure what Dalton Steed is doing. That's like the third time that's happened. He's blocked the punt here now as Weaver State, and they're going to recover it for the touchdown. It's the biggest thing in tight games like this. Turnovers and special teams, and they get a great block right off the edge. No one touches him. Second down and four. Sneed with some room off to the left side now. He can run for it. He'll have, well, as he trips up, he would have had the first. He's still going to get it. Four. Sneed stepping up into triple coverage, and the catch is somehow made by Garrett Graves for the first time tonight. Sneed looking left. Toure, he has it. And he's got that almost 1,500 of the season. Sneed, first and goal. Pressure, he's sacked. Stepping up, pressure again. He's hit and sacked for the sixth time tonight. Adam Rodriguez has four of those six sacks. And this will cut it down to seven. Kick us up. And it is good. So it's not the typical game we're used to seeing from that third and seven. Pressure. Pass over the middle. It is caught. What a catch. It's Jerry Louis McGee. Hold on. First down. Pressure coming from Weber State. It's intercepted. Picked off by George Tarlis for the second time tonight. And that's going to do it for the Wildcats. And that's the story of this game. From five touchdowns last week for Dalton Sneed to five interceptions tonight. Weber State defense. Unbelievable job. And that's tough for the fifth year senior Dalton Sneed. In the middle of the field, almost identical. This time I'm not sure if Dalton Sneed saw Tarlis, and I don't think he did. 
now. He saw his receiver flash. Weber State. Time to celebrate here with the win over Montana, 17-10 to move on to the semifinals. Well, defense travels, and you need it in the playoffs. Let's see if it travels to Harrisonburg, Virginia next week, because that's going to be one well of a game, Weber State and JMU. Advancing to the semifinals for the first time in their history, Jay Hill, congratulations to him and his squad as they get ready to play number two, James Madison, next Saturday.